hey guys welcome back to my channel today so this is a men clothing youtube channel where we teach you how to use patterns to create unlimited designs so in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this um underbust design i don't know if this is a corset as you can see just exactly the way it is on the screen so if that is what you're interested in watching then keep watching this video to the end subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up okay leave a comment in the comment section now let's head straight to the pattern drafting tutorial so firstly you'll be needing your basic body front with your basic neckline okay the basic neckline like you want to make a shirt so you'll be needing your basic neckline i'm going ahead to explain the basic bodies now so i took away 2.5 inches from the shoulder and three inches from the depth this is for a size six i think the highest you can take for whatever size you are except if you're extra extra large is 3.5 or three is the highest you can take for whatever size you are so we'll have the chest line okay we have the chest line we have the bust point line and we have the waist line for the sake of this tutorial we're stopping at the waist line and also i'm gonna have to impute my waist that and my side bust that as you can see this part where i used the marker to rule rough lines across them inside is the dart okay i actually made a mistake while drafting the pattern so i had to do that to differentiate the dart so you can be able to get it clearly the next thing you're going to do now is to impute your under bust line so whatever your under bust line is you want to mark it out okay whatever your under bust is you want to mark it out so i haven't done that i'll go ahead to use a ruler to draw a line across to indicate my under bust line and i haven't done that i'll use my marker to make this line visible so you guys can see it clearly So this is what your pattern should look like now we'll head straight to the next step so for the next step i'm going ahead now to impute that very particular design you want to mark i'm using four inches but you want something that is not at your center armhole the center of your armhole or let's say you come down by one inch from the center of your armhole highest 1.5 inches from the center of your armhole so i haven't done that you're going to be placing a ruler from that point to the center that of your side post that okay i'm saying so much things now the center line of that side bus that the very center piece of the side bus not the not the that itself the that legs the center i know you grab you understand so on that very point you also mark another line slanting your ruler like so to the center of the waist line that the center of the waist line that i think the center should be your bust apart measurement for the waist line that here yeah, to the center then you now take this very line and connect it to your bust line like so i hope it's very much explained i just i believe it's very much explained now use my marker to rule it out so you guys can see it clearly i'm going to use my marker to make it very clear now as you can see see the center line i'm talking about and also this one on the center like so you want to join this one also down to the center like so so having done that this is what it should look like okay this is what it should look like and we're not done yet So now we're going to be working on the neckline region okay with my tape i'm going to be ma measuring from this very point to my bust line and i'll take the half of it then i've marked it i'm going to mark the half of it okay so whatever you wherever you marked you want to mark half inch inwards wherever you mark you're going to be marking half inch inwards then you connect from the very point of your neckline to that half inch 
and the very point of your bust line to that half inch to create a curve you want to create a curve okay to create a curve like so same thing i'll be using my marker to make the line visible so many of you complain that my lines are not visible so i'm going to be using marker to double mark whatever it is i've used the pen to mark okay so i used my marker to mark it so it's going to be very visible and this is what it looks like technically the artistic part of it is like so this is what it should look like before we head over to the dart manipulations I'm going to be cutting this out now if you haven't subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you want me to talk about okay concerning this tutorial please if there's anything that you find confusing leave a comment in the comment section and I'll reply you as soon as possible so we're going ahead to separate these very parts okay and that's what i'm doing right now so this is what it looks like please watch carefully you want to note that all my darts are still there all the darts are still in place okay so now we're heading over to the dart manipulation i'm going ahead to cut open the waist that that's the one that is left after we've taken out the parts that looks like it's a corset or the under bust whatever so i'm going to, to open up my waist that now and i'll use my tape to hold it down like so the reason why we're doing this is we don't want to sew it so it's not going to show on the fabric we want to tape it down with the tape and that place is going to come out plain it's not going to show while We've also snatched our waist by closing the darts. So I'm going to be using my cello tape to hold this down right now. Now I've used my tape to hold it down. This is what it looks like. The darts are gone. And when we cut it on the fabric, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be seeing any dart at all. So now the next thing we're going to do is also to work on the dart of this very particular one. We're going to be cutting open this very part, like so. I've opened the dart here. I'm going to have to open the other one. Please, you want to watch very carefully because this part is, is technical. We're going to be manipulating that here. So because the other part was sewn, that is the remaining dart from the side boss that was sewn, we have to close up this dart from the waistline that went to the bust line <laughs> sorry i don't want to buy everything we have to close this very particular that okay so we open it at the remaining the remaining that of the side bust is understandable please <laughs> i hope that's okay so this is what it looks like now we're not done i'm going to be cutting it out in full so you see it clearly for yourself so this is basically what the pattern is like. This is what the pattern looks like. But I'm going to be cutting it out in full. So you see for yourself. I'm going to have to cut it out in full. As you can see, I also imputed my darts at that point. I imputed my darts. Especially that side boss dart. As you can see, the waist dart is gone. Every other dart is gone. Leaving us with just that remnant of the side boss dart. Which we are going to sew that was visible in the design okay so every other part is gone that's it so this is the part i used to cut out this very one cut out in fold because it's in fold and this is what you're going to be having like so and for the other part this is what it looks like i had to impute the dart as you can see because we're going to be sewing it that's why it's open and please whatever you cut for the up part especially the same thing that you're going to be cutting for your lining the only difference is that for your lining you have to reduce the length of that curved center front area and also your neckline so the line is inside and your main fabric is outside okay so having done that i'm going to be showing you the stitching process if i'm sewing on my fabric 
what I have to do is to hold this according to where I've marked and I'll sew it all the way down. Okay, I'm going to sew all the way down. But because I'm using a paper to illustrate, I'm going to be cutting it open so it will be easy for me to tape down the dart. So I'm going to be cutting this open so I can tape down the dart. If my voice is not clear, drop a comment in the comment section. But I believe you guys can hear me. I believe it's audible. So you're going to be taping it down like so. I said if you're using a fabric, you have to sew. I've explained that earlier. So you're going to be taping it down. And you're going to be sewing it down. This is what you should have. Now the next step is to attach it to the other part. Okay, you want to attach these two to the other part. As you're sewing, the very first thing you're going to do, if you watch carefully, you see that I marked notches of where should join to each other part. I marked notches on the pink paper. You should mark your notches. So the first thing you're going to be doing is to use your needle on the machine and hold these two points together like so. So when you hold it together, you lift it up, you lift up the press or the footer, you lift up your footer and turn it towards this direction, pull it down, then you sew, okay, pull it down and sew towards that direction where you want to, where you faced it, which is actually where you want to sew, so you pull it down and sew, and once you open it up, this is what you're going to have, you have to take it one step at a time, do not rush it, especially if you're a beginner, do not rush it. You have to take it one step at a time. So I haven't done that. You also put your footer on that one, lift it up, and also turn it towards that other direction where you want to sew. Can you see my notch? I'm trying to make sure that everything is in alignment. And you turn it around. Okay, and then you sew. When you turn it around, you bring down your footer, and then you sew towards that direction where you've turned it around to. then you close it up like so so this is what you're gonna be having okay and then of course you sew up the straight part that leads to the armhole you're gonna be sewing out the straight part that leads to the armhole so you can see the notches are aligning please make sure you mark the notches on your fabric so you're sure that what you're doing is correct and this is what it looks like I'm going to do the other side. It's actually very simple and stylish. Thanks for watching. If you're yet to subscribe, do want to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye.